So this is a Veritas router plane. And this is the price. And this is a Lee Nielsen router plane. This is the price. They're expensive, aren't they? So we're going to make a router plane. And I'm going to make it from an off cut of banister. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to mark out how much of it I want, and then I'm going to cut off that bit. Now I have to remove these two little bits here, and I'm just going to use a number four hand plane to do this. Now as you can see, I've actually cut um, the whole thing in half. Now, I do have a new camera, and um, I'm not sure why, but I've managed to lose that clip but it will become apparent in a minute why I have done this. So I need to mark out a little housing joint that I have to cut in one of the pieces and I'm just using the blade that I'm going to use to help me get the right width. And now I'm going to use one of my little saws, this is a gent saw, to cut down the sides of this joint. Now as I've already said I've got a new camera and I'm just sort of learning about it and I forgot or maybe I just lost the clip of when I chiseled out the middle but you'll just have to take my word for it that I did it. And now we are gluing everything back together. So now I'm just going to put in a couple of screws just to lock everything together and make sure it doesn't all spring apart when I put in the wedge. Speaking of the wedge, this is what I'm making here. I'm just roughly um, laying out the shape that I want. And then I'm going to use my new tool, which I'm very excited about, this bandsaw, um, to cut out the shape of the wedge. Now time to assemble the plane. So we have the blade here. This blade, in case you're interested, is from the vintage rabbit plane that I don't really use. And then we have the wedge. And although it isn't actually in shot, I am tapping the wedge in just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. And there it is. Actually, from this angle, it sort of looks like a robot. Right, before I try out the router plane, I'm just going to hone the edge on my oil stone. And then we are going to try and try it out, I suppose. Now, it doesn't actually cut brilliantly um, in this shot. I think I had I had the blade beveled down rather than bevel up. I think that would have helped, and also it's not the sharpest. So hopefully you have enjoyed watching how to make um, this router plane. Um, just to finish off, I'm going to put a coat of boiled linseed oil on here, and then this will be ready to go. Thank you so much for watching, and as ever, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you on my next video.